Hi everyone, Donut here. We've got a pretty crazy shooting to break down today involving three officers and a suspect who had just taken out a security guard with his own gun. First off, let me thank you for watching my last video I put out, the active shooter breakdown where the officers did an excellent job at going in and trying to find that guy before he offed himself. I've learned three things in the comments from that video. One, I am supporting the officers in Uvalde just by saying I want more information. Two, a cab and three man bun. Thanks for the comments, guys. Let's get on with our video. June 3rd, 2022, Nashville, Tennessee. It was just a regular old night at the local Frugal McDougal booze store when our 40 year old suspect stumbled in and tried to steal some alcohol. The security guard approached the man and he fled to a nearby property. The security guard thought that the vagrant was gone, but then he returned shortly after. Security guard and our suspect got into a physical altercation in the parking lot of the Frugal McDougal and that when the suspect was able to take away the security guard's gun. The security guard, Scott Meek, a beloved friend, family man, and black belt holding karate instructor of many Nashville locals, was then shot and killed by his own gun. The bad guy took Meek's gun and ran back into the liquor store. Within three minutes, Nashville police officers were on the scene. Before we watch the video, what's up, YouTube manual reviewer? Oh yeah, I'm talking to you, you sexy beast. This is a law enforcement interaction provided in an educational manner by a former police officer. There is minimal violence, no blood, and this shows no visible death. Well, it shows no death at all. The suspect lived. Shooting breakdown. The first officer on scene, Trevor Taylor, hops out and sees a civilian trying to provide aid to security guard Scott Meeks. The civilian does a stellar job in informing the officer what's going on and describing the suspect. Officer Taylor doesn't hesitate to run inside the business and try to find the guy who he knows just shot someone in the parking lot and is still armed. He tells 911 to clear the air. Give me the air. Meaning everyone shut the fuck up on the radio, I'm probably about to be in a gunfight. He then runs past some dumb broad trying to buy cheap wine who didn't realize there's a dude dying in the parking lot directly next to two police cars flashing cherries and berries. Both, both. Officer Taylor finds the guy casually shopping for his favorite IPA at the back of the store and starts giving commands. He went back there. Show me your hand! Show me your hand! The dude hits the deck and then starts shooting at Officer Taylor. Gun! Drop the gun! Drop the gun! Drop the gun! Right now! Drop the gun! Metro Police, show us your hands right now! Drop the gun! Drop it! Drop it! Show me your hands! Show me your hands! <laughs> Boy, God, 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 God. Shots fired! Show the gas! Officer Taylor doesn't fire any shots during this interaction, but Officer Curry, on the other hand, who has been with the Nashville Police Department for only 17 months, approaches the suspect. The suspect is down right now. We'll talk about how he got down here in a second. Officer Curry comes around the corner and sees the dude on the ground, swing the gun around towards him, and lights him up. Charles, go ahead. Put three shots fired! Don't reach for that gun! Do not reach for that gun! If you take a close look at Officer Taylor's body camera, there's a sneaky boy right over here. That's Officer Lucky. Officer Lucky comes in right behind the first two officers and can't get a good shot off because old dude hit the deck when they all approached. Officer Lucky assesses the situation and decides to flank left. He peeks around the corner, instantly sees the suspect focusing his fire towards the other officers and lights him up from behind. The suspect drops as soon as his brain processes 9mm holes in his body and he swings around and starts shooting at Officer Lucky, who retreats at the right time. Shots fired! 
miss it. Hits him a bunch of times. Bad guy goes. While he's looking over here, Curry goes. And bad guy is down. And show me your hands. Fire. Reports state that the suspect is still alive with many bullet wounds in his extremities. No officers were injured, and unfortunately, the security guard Scott Meeks died from his injuries. If you want to watch the uncensored version of this shooting, just head on over to the link that I provided in the description. That's going to be my raw police footage channel where there is no commentary or man buns. Let me know in the comments below how you think the officers handled this situation. Was it pretty appropriate? Was it inappropriate? Was it appropriate? Were there appropriate? Appro it was what? Let me know in the comments below. The first broadcast of the Donut News Network is going to take place at 7 p.m. Central this evening. It's going to happen Monday through Friday from now until I might get busy one day and say, hey, guys, I'm not going to do this today. But we're going to try Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Central. If you want to help support the channel, you can go over to Bunker Branding and get some super sweet merch like this or subscribe to my second channel operation donut until next time everybody please have a fantastic day Hacker.